listening to God. You know, I believe that movies might have messed us up a little bit in our spiritual search. I was once on a question and answer panel and someone said, well, I've never really heard the voice of God. And, and there was more discussion and the person ended up saying, well, the voice of God would sound like Charlton Heston in the movies. <laughs> well, the voice of God is a spiritual voice. The voice of God is a subtle voice. The voice of God is a praying and then walking through a garden and later on just having a flash of inspiration, knowing. And it is not an audible voice, but a voice that still you understand at the core of your soul when it happens to you. A voice that in a millisecond of time can change your entire life, send you in a new direction, give you an idea that is above anything that you have ever had before, a concept above anything, an understanding above anything that you've had before, and a guidance that is always the correct way to go even though it may not have been ever your way before that. That's the voice of God. Now, sometimes God speaks loudly and clearly. Sometimes it will just jolt you where you just know that you have received the guidance of God. But more often, God speaks in a quiet voice. And if you're wise... You'll be listening carefully when God does. To do so, you must carve out quiet moments each day to sense God's direction. Otherwise, the noise inside of the mind is so noisy that you'll continue listening to your own thoughts and your own guidance. It has been said by St. Francis de Sales, he said, Half an hour of listening is essential, except when one is very busy, and then a full hour is needed. There's profound wisdom in that. I have had times where I've been so busy that in my human mind I've been absolutely overwhelmed. And when you're overwhelmed in human mind, you tend to shut down, you tend to work slower, it is a conserving process that the soul and the mind go through. If you carve out an hour of time when you least want to do it in human mind and just listen, I guarantee you, I guarantee that everything will start to fall into place and you'll be able to accomplish a hundred times what you would have accomplished going it alone and with greater speed. In Isaiah 41, verse 1, it says, Listen in silence before me. Well, can you quiet yourself long enough to listen to God? Are you attuned to the guidance of God's Spirit? Are you willing to pray sincerely and then quietly wait for God's response? That's huge. Most people are willing to pray. They're willing to talk to God. But often they're not willing to sit and listen and sense God. God usually doesn't send God's messages on stone tablets. No. God doesn't post messages usually on city billboards. God communicates in subtle ways, and if you sincerely desire to hear God's voice, you must set aside quiet time and create a quiet, willing place in your heart. And I pray that you will do so, beginning right now.